Hey, what's going on, guys? Let's look at this problem right here. Here, this question is asking: Determine if the following functions are of exponential order or not. To find out this one, what we have to do is we just have to divide this one by t cube sine t. I take the first one, and we have to take the limit t approaches infinity. And when we divide by e power something t, can any number make this one any value of any value in front of this t make this one zero if if it can make this one zero then this is yes otherwise it's no now to find out this one first we have we can think about this sine t sine t the maximum of sine t can be one right other than that it's it's not going to go above that so it's basically t cube times one so it's basically t cube but if you look at this one denominator we have e power something t for example if i put one like uh, when the t t approaches infinity this is going to be much larger because exponential is much larger mu much larger than t cube therefore this is going to be a huge number so if we divide this one by huge number this is going to be equal to zero so th the answer for this one is yes now let's look at the second one again same thing limit t approaches infinity and we put e power t cube divided by e power something t now we have to think about can any number make this one zero because if it's infinity you can think about this like we have t cube this is a cubic function here we have a linear function no matter even if you put thousand when you multiply by infinity this t cube is going to be much larger than this one so no matter what number you put it's never going to be zero so the, no choice no choice of let's say alpha no choice of alpha will make this true so make this make this equal to zero or make this make this true so this is no now let's look at this one again we take the limit t approaches infinity t power 4 e power 60 divided by e power something t can any number make this one zero we have to get zero like for example if you put seven right here seven mean we are going to end up with t power four over e power t because seven minus six that's going to become t right here so now this will become zero therefore this is just and that's it that's how we do that i hope you guys find this video helpful thanks for watching and if you are trying to learn differential equation there are a bunch of videos in my playlist I hope you guys watched that too and don't forget to subscribe. See you next time.